This is Psalms 37 and 8. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the elect and much respect to the brothers pushing this word in the four corners of the globe. And shalom to you few sisters out there as well. This is Brother Ariyah coming at you with another lesson. And this one is simply titled, uh, Rebuke the Temper, man. Okay? And uh, this is mainly something for myself, but it's for you brothers and sisters as well, man. You know, when we come into this truth, you know, we get angry, man. And, uh, you know, but you still got to learn to rebuke your temper, man. And not and not get angry at, you know, everything. And, you know, especially like I notice me when I'm driving. <laughs> yeah. You know, people do dumb shit, man. Or dumb things. Salaki, I'm going to try to stop cursing. People do dumb things, man, on the road, man. They may cut you off. They may flip you to bird. You know, they may be driving reckless, you know, and, and things, certain things like that, that, that'll anger you, you know, but at the end of the day, man, you may, you just got to recognize and realize that this is all a test, man. Okay. And, and in those instances, you got to practice, uh, you know, of course, wisdom and patience, man, and rebuking your temper, man. Because, uh, you know, many people have gone off the rails and gotten angry and let wrath take over and gotten killed because of it, man. Okay, so us being in this truth, man, we got to we gotta rebuke the temper, man. Because, you know, our temper could be the end of us, man. Our temper can ultimately uh, put us to death, man. Okay, so that's what I'm going to focus on. And I got a little video too, man. But I'm going to go into it a little bit later. And Lord willing, this lesson is uh, it's edifying, man. Okay. I'm going to go to Ecclesiast Ecclesiastes. Uh, I'm going to go to 1. I'm going to read 17 and 18. Okay. And it reads, I get, And I gave my heart to know wisdom. And to know madness and folly. I perceive that this also is vexation of spirit. For in much wisdom is much grief. And he that increase of knowledge increase of sorrow, man. Okay, so us learning this truth, you know, at first it's sweet, man. But then it turns real bitter, real fast, man. Okay, and it could be, you know, a lot of things that can anger you, man. You know? I remember when I first came into the truth and I first found out about it, I was working at this, uh, I was running this, this, um, kitchen and a big, a big, uh, building filled with different businesses and they would all come to the kitchen and they were all, you know, order what they wanted. And I was the only one there. So, you know, I was doing everything, cashier, washing dishes, all that. Right. Anyway. So at first, when I first started, you know, of course you already know there's a, various nations in there and i was cool with everybody you know <laughs> so then I, I learned i found out about the truth man and you know i just lost my i just started losing my patience with people man you know and people were going back to my boss saying yeah hey, this guy he's a pit bull I don't, what's wrong with him he's he's angry you know and i was giving them attitudes man i didn't want to serve them you know, and I just came into the truth. I didn't have, like, full understanding or anything like that, you know? But when you increase your knowledge in this truth, man, it, it, it angers you, man. Now, you're not only angry at, you know, the other nations and Esau and all that. You're also angry at yourself, man, for the things that you used to do, you know? So when you increase in this knowledge and this wisdom and understanding, it can definitely anger you, man. But that's something that you got to rebuke. You got to rebuke that anger. You got to know how to channel it into something righteous, you know? Don't let it pull you down and, and let you do something wicked, man. Okay? I'm going to go to Ecclesiastes 7 and 9. 
Okay, is that what I want? Yeah, it says, uh, Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and the gift destroyed the heart. That's not what I wanted. Is that what I wanted? Nope. Salakia for that. I wanted, uh, yeah, seven and nine. Salakia. Salakia for that. Please forgive me. Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger resteth in the bosom of fools, right? So, you know, most people that don't have this understanding will get angry at everything, okay? But us having this understanding and this knowledge and this wisdom, we got we to gotta learn to use it, okay, when certain situations arise, okay? It could be somebody that's, you know, getting in your face or cursing you out. Now, I'm not saying that you can't protect yourself or don't protect yourself. That's not what I'm saying, okay? But don't ever, don't ever go out in the world looking to do something to somebody. That's not something that you want to have in your mind or in your spirit. Okay? And at the end of the day, if somebody does you wrong, you let you leave it to the most high. You let the most high handle it, man. Okay? So you got to leave that old man back in the world or that old woman back in the world. Okay? You can't be going around smacking people grandmothers. And <laughs> you know, you can't do that, man. Okay? Or, or, or you know, you, you can't do none of that, man. We got to be walking in righteousness, man. Staying in the spirit at all times. Okay? All that carnal stuff, all that car carnally minded things, we leave those behind, man. Okay? Because at the end of the day, if we go off and we, we, we're carnal, you know, that could ultimately lead us to get put to death, man. At the end of the day. And you're going to see that in the video that I'm going to show you. Okay? So this is really a, a rebuke to myself. Okay? But this is for you brothers and sisters too, man, to get edification out of it. Okay? Because these are things that I know I need to work on. And I'm pretty sure some of you brothers and sisters need to work on it as well. You know? Because I'm new in this truth. And, uh, you know, that's something I still need to work on. Not to say that I get angry about everything, but sometimes I do get angry, you know. But through the grace, the power and grace of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, I do tell myself to shut the hell up, you know. <laughs> I ain't got no problems with doing that. Okay, I'm going to go to Proverbs. Let me see here. 27 and 3. Okay. And it says a stone is heavy and the sand is heavy and the sand is weighty, but a fool's wrath is heavier than them both, man. Okay. So, you know, you see, you see a lot of people out here being raffle, you know, taking people's lives, you know, doing things to people, cutting them up, you know, stealing from them or what have you, doing all sorts of wickedness to people, man. You know, these people are accounted fools, man. Okay? And they feel like that's the only way that they can uh, rectify a situation is by being raffled, man. Okay? And that's just not the way to be. That is not the way to be, man. Verse 4, wrath is cruel and anger is outrageous. But who is able to stand before envy? Right, but I'm just going into wrath is cruel and anger is outrageous, man. You know, these things, you know, like I said, man, we do get angry in the spirit sometimes. But we can't let that anger overtake us, man. Okay? And definitely not wrath, man. Wrath is something that you want to stay away from, man. Okay? You got to have it in your spirit to say, I'm going to let the most high deal with it. I'm not going to go and deal with it myself, man. You know? A big part of this truth is rebuking yourself, man. Because you rebuking yourself, you're keeping yourself from harm's way, man. You're not being a punk. You know, you're not being a chump. You're not being none of that, man. What you're being, you're being wise, Okay, and what you're displaying is wisdom. And there's nothing wrong with walking away from 
a wrathful person, someone that's trying to get you to jump or someone's trying to get you to come out of your, your character, man. There's nothing wrong with just walking away from that, man. Okay? Because it's, it's better for you to walk away from it than for you to get swallowed up by it, man. Okay? I'm going to go to, uh, what is that? 29, Proverbs 29 and 8. And it says, scornful men bring a city into a snare, but wise men turn away wrath, man. You see that? Scornful men bring a city into a snare, but wise men turn away wrath, man. Okay, so you turn away wrath, that's something that is wise, man. That is you using wisdom and utilizing the wisdom that the Most High has bestowed upon you, man. There's nothing wrong with walking away from wrath if somebody act like oh you know they want to fight or they want to do something to you or you know things are getting hot and they're getting heated you know between you and, and a particular person or, or various people for that matter there's nothing wrong with walking away man it doesn't make you any less of a man or a woman by doing so man okay but what it does make you is wise okay and at the end of the day you keep your life because all because what is that that's just a test it's a test from the heavenly father to see how you're going to react what you're going to do okay and, and what i'm talking about is going to go into the little uh quick video that i'm going to play okay because if the if the if the man in this video would have utilized wisdom right he would have got out of that situation, man. But you're going to see what his end was, you know, when I play the video. I'm going to go to Proverbs 16. sixteen thirty two. Okay. And it reads, he that is slow to anger is better than the mighty. And he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh a city. Okay? So you gotta rule, you gotta rule your spirit, man. Okay? And you gotta be slow to anger. You can't be quick to anger. You can't be quick to get pissed off. I'm, uh, we, we can't get, uh, we can't be quick to get pissed off, man. We have to rule our spirits. I don't wanna say you. I'm talking about me as well. Okay? These are things that we have to master. Okay? Because when you out here in the world, man, you see so much folly and so much BS, man, it pisses you off. It really makes you mad, man. It really does. Knowing that you got to go out here in the world and deal with these people, man. You got to be around these people. You got to hear the, <laughs> the conversations that they have, man, that are meaningless. You know, you got to work side by side with these people. You got to live side by side with this, with these people. You got to deal with their folly and their dumb shit. They want to play loud ass music. They want to be loud. They want to, you know, be inconsiderate, things of that nature. You know, these are just a couple of things, man, that we have to deal with, man. I'm not even going to go through all, but those things are, are a pain in the butt, man. Those are things that are anger you. Those are things that will, you know, irritate you, man. But at the end of the day, man, we got to rule our spirits, man. And we got to be slow to slow to anger, man. Okay? Because at the end of the day, like I said, these are all tests, man. These are all tests, man, to test our patience, man. You know? A big part of this truth is being patient. Not only patiently waiting on the coming of, of, of the anointed Yahweh Shai, but just being patient in life, period, man. And just letting things play out instead of jumping the gun and, and trying to create your own outcome, you know, because most times when you try and do that, you end up falling on your face. So what's best to do is just to use patience and wait for things to play out, man. And when you do that nine times out of, out of 10, things will play out in your favor, believe it or not. Okay. So I'm gonna play uh play this uh quick clip and Lord willing this is edifying.
shocking video showing a road rage incident quickly turned fatal. It only lasts six seconds. You see two men arguing near a motorcycle, the door of a truck open nearby. Then a shot from inside the truck, police say, killing Stephen Addison, a veteran and a father of three. Stephen was a great guy. People always say someone lit up a room. My husband, he lit up every room he went into. The video, sent to NC's Raleigh affiliate and verified through details from the police and district attorney. Roger Nobles, the man inside the truck, initially fled the scene with his son, Roger Nobles Jr., the man seen in the video arguing with Addison, according to the Fayetteville Police Department. Who could do that? Kill somebody? And then just continue on with life like you didn't just do that. Police say when they found the men, Noble Sr. admitted to the shooting. He was then arrested and charged with first-degree murder. The video, though brief, is revealing. WRAL spoke with security consultants who reviewed the footage and said they found the son's body language concerning. Though we should note, we don't know what happened before or after the video's duration. Ricky Davis, with Rice Security and Consulting, noticed Roger Nobles Jr. did not flinch when the shot was fired. Once the shot was fired and then he looked at the victim, he didn't turn around and look at his father and say, to make comments like, why did you do that? I didn't anticipate this or whatever. He just watched the victim fall and walked away. Addison's ex-wife also distraught, this incident leaving her children fatherless too. You killed my kid's father, and now, now he's not here. All right, Maura Barrett joins us now live, so more of the police chief and the district. Yeah, so I'm back. So you saw the video, you know, you saw the man, he was arguing with him and all that, and he could have, he could have did something different, man. He's up here, he's pointing at him and doing all this you know when you encounter esau you already know that they look at you like you 15 feet feet tall anyway man you already know esau scared you man so there's no need there was no need for that man to argue with him like that man you know the smarter approach if he would have used wisdom would have been like yo is everybody okay everybody good you know even if the even if the person was in the wrong okay Maybe they cut them off or what have you. You know, you got to use wisdom. You know, we have to use wisdom. Okay, because certain things can arise super fast, man. And you got to be on point. We have to be on point. You know, we got to be on point. And we got to, you know, we got to keep it in our mind that when we step out of our house, anything like this can happen. And we, we, we want to walk in the spirit we want to be spiritual we don't want to be carnal man okay we want to walk the path of righteousness not wickedness man okay this is job 5 and 2 for wrath killeth the foolish man and envy slayeth the silly one okay and by him arguing with this man out there in the middle of the road man he was being foolish he was not using wisdom Okay, and it ultimately got him killed, man. His wrath. You know, if he would have reacted a different way, he'd probably still be here today, man. But at the end of the day, it was all ordained by the Heavenly Father for him to react that way. Because we all know man's, man's goings are the Lord, man. Okay? So obviously the Most High was not pleased with that man. The Most High was not dwelling with that man. And that's why he did not use wisdom in that particular instance right there. Okay? I'm going to go to Book of Sirach, chapter 8 and 11. Okay? And it says, rise not up in anger at the presence of an injurious person, lest he lie in wait to entrap thee in thy words. Okay, and an injurious person is someone that is looking to inflict harm on you. Okay, now I'll give the man the benefit of the doubt. He probably didn't think that these people would shoot him. Okay, but. That's not using wisdom, man. Because you don't know what anyone has. You don't, you don't know what people have on them. You don't know if they got a gun, they got a knife. You don't know what they got on them, man. You know? So because you don't know, you should use wisdom, man. 
Okay? A soft answer turns away wrath, man. Okay? These scriptures do not lie, man. You know? And I was just looking at that video and I'm like, damn, that could that could happen to me. That could happen to anyone, man. Just like that, man. The matter of of six, seven seconds, man. That man life got taken just like that, man. You know? And he wasn't really even irate like that. You know, I, you couldn't hear what he was saying, though. He could he probably was saying something, something crazy. You never know. But at the end of the day, man, we 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 need to use wisdom, man. And a lot of these, uh, a lot of these things, you know, that we go through, man, we gotta use wisdom, man. You know, I would hate to see, you know, for one that happen to one of the brothers or sisters, you know. But at the end of the day, you know, we pray that the Most High got us, man. We pray to the Most High every day, man. I I doubt that that dude prayed to the Most High every day. You know, I pray that he, I mean, I mean, I doubt that he uh, tries to offend the Heavenly Father less and less every day. You know, and us in this truth, that's what we do. That's our main priority, man. You know, tr trying to keep the laws as well, you know, to the best of our ability and things of that nature. So something like this don't happen to us, man, because it could easily happen to one of us, man. Okay, I'm going to go to... Uh, Second Peter and I'm gonna read uh no and it reads according as his divine power have given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that have called us to glory and virtue okay so us being in this truth we were called man we were called to this glory okay and that's something you should thank the heavenly father for every day whereby are given us unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Okay? And this truth, you know, shows you the divine nature, man, which is to be what? To be patient, to be humble. Okay? Not to be, you know, wrathful and angry. Okay? And beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, into virtue, knowledge, into knowledge, temperance, into temperance, patience, okay, into patience, godliness, man, into godliness, brotherly kindness, into brotherly kindness, charity, okay, T patience is a, is a big thing, and your temper, controlling your temper, man, and having patience, you know, these two things will, you know, will help you out man in the long run man controlling your temper and having patience these two things right here <laughs> i'm currently working on <laughs> you know i'm uh, you know i'm striving to master it okay but it's not going to happen overnight man but as long as that's these are things that i want you know to uh to be and things that i want to exude then, you know, I'm good. You know, this is something that I'm, I'm striving for. Okay? Temperance and patience. Verse 7. And the godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, charity. For if these things being you and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our power, army of our Lord, Yahweh, Shai, Hamashiach. You know? His name is not Jesus Christ. It's Yahweh Shai Hamashiach in the Paleo Hebrew. But he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off and have forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Right? 
Because we were all purged from our old, old sins, bringing, bringing, I mean, being brought into this truth, Salakia. Okay? Wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fail, man. Okay? And you know, it goes into uh, uh, kindness and charity and things of that nature. Right, but I'm just want to focus on the temperance and the patience, man. Okay, the all of these things are very important, but what I'm speaking about in this lesson is temperance and patience, man, and being humble and being meek. Okay, you can't have the nigga mentality no more, the tough guy mentality, you know, can't have that no more, man. Look, man, I'm I'm 6'3", 260 pounds, man, okay? If some dude step up to me and want to fight or whatever, and I already know I can handle myself, but I'm going to walk away, man. I'm going to walk away, okay? And I'm going to say in my mind, and I'm going to say in my mind, I'm going to let the most high handle that, man. The best thing to do is to turn away wrath, man, with a soft answer, man. Okay? And if other people look at you like, oh, he a chump. He's scared. Or, so what, man? It does not matter, man. Okay? And I'm, I'm about to go into that right now. I'm going to Romans. About to go into that right now. Romans 12. I'm going to start at 14. Okay? And it says, bless them which persecute you. Bless and curse not. Okay? So you bless them people, man, that persecute you, that falsely accuse you, that, you know, make up rumors and lies about you or what have you, man. You bless those people, man. Right? I'm going to skip down to 17. Recompense no to no man evil for evil. Right? So if someone do evil to you, you don't get them back by doing something evil as well, man. Okay, because that is wickedness, man. That you're not walking in righteousness when you do that. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. Okay, we're supposed to be uh, honest in the sight of all men too. Okay, you know, I went to the to the Jamaican store and, and got two peanut punches. And uh, the guy forgot to charge me for it. And there was people in line behind me. And I was like, yo, hey, you didn't charge me for this. You know, people was looking at me like I'm crazy. Like they just would have. Walked out with it, but nah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta shine your light before men. Okay, I don't want to get off topic though. Uh, 18. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Okay? If it be possible, man, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Okay? We're supposed to be live peaceably with all men, man. No. No, no, uh, no arguing, no, none of that, man. Like I said, all that nigga shit, you got to leave that behind, man. You got to leave that stuff behind, man. Someone want to argue, you can always use your legs and just walk away, man. Okay, that's what they there for. So you can walk away. Use your legs. All right? 19. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. Right? So don't someone do you dirty or someone does something wrong to you, you let the most high handle it, man. Okay? But that 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 goes back to faith. You know, that's part of you showing your faith in the Heavenly Father that He will take care of, of the things that you chose not to take care of to leave Him to deal with the matter. There's nothing wrong with that, man. Okay? The Most High said, Vengeance is mine, I will, I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in doing so, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Makak, Wadash, Shalom.